Hurricane Delta has officially made landfall at the top of the hour. So at uh, 6 p.m. tonight, Hurricane Delta made landfall along the Louisiana coast uh, at a category two hurricane. So still looking at wind speeds upwards of 100 miles per hour with wind gusts around around 125 miles per hour. Remember, just uh, six weeks ago, we had Hurricane Laura move through basically the same uh, region. Uh, just six weeks ago, a category four hurricane with wind speeds upwards of 130, 140 miles per hour. Now a category two hurricane uh, moving through portions of Louisiana and eventually into Mississippi and then close to Tennessee and Kentucky. So uh, category two hurricane right now with wind speeds upwards of about 100 miles per hour. We'll continue to watch the track of that uh, through the eastern portion of Louisiana. A lot of rainfall yet to come, potentially upwards of about uh, eight to maybe even 12 inches near a foot of rain possible in some isolated areas looking at storm surges upwards of about a foot as well. So uh, or I should say up to right around 12 feet. So very dangerous uh, type of conditions there here at home. We've just been dealing with some sunshine. Beautiful sunset tonight. Make sure to send in your sunset photos to weather at KTTC.com for tonight. We're looking at very pleasant conditions. Winds right now out of the south southwest at about eight miles per hour. Temperatures at 75 degrees and we see some clear skies. Current conditions. We continue to have temperatures in the lower 80s right now in Mason City at 80 degrees. 79 currently in Charles City. Uh, most of southeast Minnesota mid 70s right around 73 to 75 degrees. Wind speeds. They've been breezy so far today, but do notice Red Wings and Broda Oatana winds starting to be out of the west, so we're kind of losing that southwesterly breeze and we'll deal with the wind speeds probably tomorrow out of the north. That's because a cold front will move through frontal boundary right now, right near Minneapolis. Eventually that slides through won't bring any rainfall, but will change our temperatures a little bit, but it'll still be perfect for tonight and Friday night football is back in southeast Minnesota here as football games kick off in the next uh, about 45 minutes. We're looking at temperatures staying in those lower 70s for kickoff by the fourth quarter, still in the mid 60s, so definitely not a mid October type of feel for the games tonight, so nice conditions outside in southeast Minnesota. As we look at uh, future track here, watch as we move through the overnight hours slowly but steadily. We watch the wind direction change here, so watch the the arrows change more to a northerly breeze tomorrow morning. Be a little brisk compared to what we had just this morning. We had overnight lows last night into this morning at 59 degrees. Well, tomorrow I should say 57 tomorrow. We're right at about 48 degrees for the wake up call by about 8 a.m. As we continue to move through the day, wind slowly shifts to a more of a northeasterly breeze, but temperatures will be as warm, almost 20 degrees cooler by about 1, 2 o'clock, and then we should top things off about 65 degrees for those highs tomorrow. As we move through Saturday night into Sunday, winds strong out of the east, and then eventually get more to a southerly breeze, and that's when we'll see temperatures warm up a little bit more. Future track kind of overdoes cloud cover a little bit. I do think temperatures will be a little bit warmer on Sunday than what we experience on Saturday. So the weekend outlook 66 for the high Saturday, 71 on Sunday, so fairly pleasant. I think we see a little bit of cloud cover on Sunday, but Saturday, beautiful sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 60s. 49 for the overnight low tonight, so we'll wake up a little brisk tomorrow morning. Pretty seasonable for this time of year. Seven day forecast 62 for the high on Monday. We'll see that chance for some rainfall, maybe even some thunderstorm activity Sunday night into Monday. And then next week, we'll watch those temperatures kind of drop down 57 for the high on uh, Thursday, and then Tom only 50 for the high on Friday. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Uh, well, the Vikings.